Good morning, everyone. Jai Shri Mataji. Let's bow to our altar and do a little puja out to our own altars, Kundalini and Bandhan, and get ourselves centered within. Who 
Let's take a few moments to ground ourselves, bring our attention fully inside into our kundalini, another kundalini. Please awaken more and more strands of your power within us. Please forgive us for any errors made against you. There's a talk where Shumachi says if we sincerely ask for forgiveness at her feet, that will automatically be taken into thoughtless awareness. So if we're not quite there yet with our thoughtless awareness, let's sincerely bow down with full humility. Mother, please forgive us. Mother, please forgive me for all mistakes known and unknown. Please forgive me. Shri you who made our Mother Earth, please, through the power of Mother Earth, bring us into balance. Mother Earth, please clear our left side. Please clear all emotional pain, regret, any hankering for the past. Please wash all that away and transform it into pure love, pure attention, pure joy in the present moment. Please clear our left side.
Please fill my heart with joy. Let us feel the collective joy bubbling within. Bring our attention more and more within. Let's slow our breathing as we bring our attention more and more within. A gentle but deep breath from our abdomen. And with each out breath, release any emotional congestion. Breathe in. Pause. Hold it for a moment. Breathe out. And release any mental activity. Mother, I surrender to my Kundalini and the joy of the present moment. Now about the environment, they are having a me meeting on environment. That too is only solved through spirit. All environment problems can be solved only spiritual if you have spiritual asset. Otherwise you can. You try anything, it's like patching up the sky. See now, it's a very deep rooted thing that we don't understand that spirit is the most practical thing. You see, we think spirit, we think it's like a drunkard. No? Spiritual man is a cult, he's a drunkard, he's most abnormal, it's funny. Either he hits people or runs away from them. This is the idea we have got about the spiritual person. But just see, you are spiritual. <laughs> You will find it impossible to use plastics after some Because you will know that the plastics give you horrid vibrations. After some time, you will be really, you will find it repulsive. It's all right to sit in a train for a while on a plastic coach. Oh. But to sit in your house on a plastic all the time would be horrible. And to wear a plastic coat all the time, our body will refuse. So when people will be spiritually awakened, they'll give up all these nonsensical things. So they may say, then what will happen to the machines? No, machines are for us. We are not for the machines. This is, this is another concept. It's whatever create is for us, and we are not for that. All right, doesn't matter. Nothing will go wrong with the machines. Machines should be used for anything that is a public work, like for your motor cars, for your trains, trams, all public work which is outside. For houses at the most, you can use machines. But for personal things, you must make how You must use handmade. Handmade things. For spiritual people would like to wear something that is handmade or real. When I can't wear a nylon sari, not that I am very fussy about it, but I just can't wear. After some time, if I do not take out my socks, which are only nylon, what to do? 
Our vibrations get jammed completely. So you won't be able to wear next to your skin, near your skin, near your body, eating your food, everything in plastics, cooking in plastics. I mean, it's too much. Thank God, cooking I don't think is possible, isn't it? But aluminium is another thing. It's very bad. Aluminium, you won't be able to. You will either try copper or brass or things. Now, handmade things we live, have because they are made by hand, so they have vibrations. People would like to have hand. It is a part. So by that, we remove the disparity of the world. Developing countries can do handmade things. You cannot beat them with computers, can you? You go ahead, go ahead mad with your computers. You'll have to come back. Must understand the whole. If you don't understand the whole, this is what is happening. Like mad, you know, computers going ahead, ahead, ahead. Where? Into the ditch? <laughs> Into a big mountain. Now they have created big mountains of plastic. They don't know what to do with it. So, and then with computer, what will they do? They will create a greater mountains out of plastics. Maybe Himalaya might be created <laughs> with the computer. So the developing countries should not try to follow these mad people on one side. They should develop their hand things and all that because they'll have to come back. Now the handmade things in this country are so important and so expensive. You don't care whether it is pressed or not. But in India you have to take nylons because this is nylons is a symbol of development. Not of overdevelopment perhaps, but of development. So they must take to nylons and plastics and to stainless steel and aluminium if possible. That's what we are doing. When you have less things consumed like that, you use less things from your motherland. Because handmade, you cannot go on mad like a machine goes like a rakshasa, eating away everything and producing more. She has to live like that. It is not economical. So when you have handmade things, you have more value for your things. You look after them better. You feel better. You are comfortable. And you need not be that smart, you see, machine made. That idea of smartness is going now. So the developing countries should also learn a lesson. They are going after you, you know, they are running fast. They try to run faster. They cannot. Thank God, they cannot. But they should stick on to that side. You see, one part of the country has to do something, another part has to do something else. But you people have to look after the side of machines, all right. I mean, handmade things, what can you make? Some ceramics, I think. Apologies. <laughs> Some apologies for that. You better do what you know better. And let them do what they can do better. I share it. If this balance is established, there's no aggression. Unemployment can be solved. All the problems can be solved if you take to handmade things. We should take to handmade things as far as possible. Sir Yogi should use handmade things. I mean, not the cars, but for their personal use. Even I would say soaps that you use are horrid. The soaps that you get in England are not meant for your, your skins at all, for Sir Yogi's skin. I can't bear them. What you have to is natural soaps that you get, get from any country if you like, but natural soaps, which come from natural oils. Foods also, natural food you must eat, more natural food than artificial. All that will give you a better living, and that is called as alternative, all right, that's alternative is important. But that doesn't mean you go on a bullock cart. You can export your trains to India, on your cars to India and get khadi from there. All right? Mutual understanding. Because we are part and parcel of one whole. And we just cannot exist 
by our only growth because then we become malignant you see one cell seeds another you have to if you have a machinery you have to eat other because you produce so much you must find markets for them you must supply them you must send over then you must have other countries to exploit them people have tremendous respect for mahatma gandhi but i don't know if people understand what he said about machinery that doesn't mean the people who are doing machine work should give up by any chance but some of them they can close down for example plastic toys for children is horrifying you can't even get uh, wood toys now nothing just plastic that touching plastic i mean imagine you cannot feed any plastic so this is what a saying so jogi has to understand that's how you can solve the problem of environment also thank god somehow with your affluence and too much of machinery all the western people i'm happy to know even in portugal realize the value of handmade but in india if you offer somebody uh in an hand making they say oh god they have no money but stainless steel great <laughs> in a stainless steel glass they give you tea you see it's very big if you give it in a ceramic ah uh, what is village craft they have to be told but if you create a demand they will be all right they look after their handmaid and here you can't do much i've seen you see that dictates that deftness is not there that's lacking now you lost it very few people have that left in them even if they have to cut one coat with their hands they cannot they have to use a machine which cuts 25 coats at a time ha <laughs> <laughs> then this problem of you have to have a figure exactly because this only can fit certain figures you can't have your own independent figure this is all machine like stuff you see you all must have that figure otherwise it doesn't fit it so that is an ideal figure so everybody works out for that see there's a new machinery comes up you see for that kind of a thing the new styles to come it's such an artificial thing all man made artificial from your democracy your politics to your economics all your so called ideas of creativity everything becomes so artificial now people can't paint what they paint if you see is you are just aghast you don't know what is this supposed to be and it is supposed to be this but it looks there's a hand isn't it can't you see that yes i can let me show you <laughs> they can't do anything we can't have shakespeare we can't have gandhi we can't have anyone of that time we can't have say abraham lincoln we can have only machines to see bolts and nuts stick fit it nicely you fix to your fix to your fix to your fix everybody fix nice where do the will this brain go where will this heart go what will it do then it cannot collapse i mean it's as long as you are existing the heart has to be so all this artificiality has to be overcome by surgery the responsibility is so great such a big building you have to bear on your shoulders and the foundation stones had to get up in the morning <laughs> to be chiseled out properly so i end up my it's it today in one place
Mother, please take us all deep into our Sarah's drives. Deep into meditation. From the prayer book, a prayer to Sri Adi Bhumi Devi. Om Sakshat Sri Bhumi Devi Namo Namaha. Upon you, beloved Mother Earth, we stand at this, the crossroads of man's destiny. Only through your kind love or for your children are we here now. You have graciously sustained us thus far. You have given us food, water, clothing, and shelter. O oh, beloved Mother Earth, with our heads bowed, we thank you. And with our heads bowed, we come humbly to you, asking further sustenance and strength for the many days ahead. O oh, beloved Mother Earth, now that we have grown a little and stand firmer each day, we pray to you to help clear the way as we begin to move forwards. We long for the cleansing of all lands, so that upon you, beloved Mother Earth, the righteous may return to their divine home. We hope to be many. O oh, beloved Mother Earth, give us patience as we search for our brothers and sisters. Give us detachment from all distractions. Give us perseverance in our task. O oh, beloved Mother Earth, most of all, please help us as your seas cleanse the shores to clean our hearts so that we may desire only that which is right. O oh, beloved Mother Earth, please support us so that we may soon stand upon you in great numbers and invoke with one mighty voice the dance of Lord Shiva. These things we most humbly pray.
they should stick on to that side you see one part of the country has om tumeva sakshat shri bhuni devi namo namaha Alo Shri Bhumi Devi Shri Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Ki Jai
We'll finish with Shri Mataji's mantras. It's about to rain. Mother Earth, Mother Nature has held off. Have a beautiful day, everyone. <laughs>